Look at this. I made a really big commitment to these bananas this morning by taking them out of the freezer. I had really big plans for us today, you guys. Like, that's the trouble with a list. You put too much on it and you barely get half of it done and then you start to feel bad. So one of my viewers made a comment on one of my videos recently saying, Gretchen, can you show us the cameras that you use, like the iPhone, the iPad, the DSLR, and just like how you do these videos? And I'm kind of like, girl, you are on your own because I barely even remember to turn on the second camera half the time. I just filmed my entire workout that I promised you guys I would be filming workouts regularly so that we can all get up off the couch and get moving a little bit. I literally forgot again to turn on the second camera. So I have been doing this for close to 10 years on YouTube and this is my nemesis. This, is that the word? This is my kryptonite, my nemesis, my enemy, all of this technology, this camera stuff, audio stuff. I've got the iPad Go and the DSLR. I've got the iPhone recording and it still is absolutely a nightmare for me. So yeah, no, you're not going to be getting any filming and camera tips from me, you guys. So as far as the workouts go, I don't know that that's going to happen. Um, I just, it's like, I just don't know that that's going to happen. There are so many awesome home workouts that you can find on YouTube to follow along with. I'm not quite sure that you need me for that. I like this whole kitchen setup and making recipes just off the cuff and a little bit raw, which is what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you guys how to make, have you ever heard of a Welsh rarebit? Um, I... I have heard of it, but I never really knew what it was. So here's the backstory on this. My boyfriend and I, m months ago, he was telling me how when he used to come home from school, his grandmother would make him cheese on toast. And so you think, okay, cheese on toast. But he'd be like, no, it's not just like a grilled cheese sandwich. It was different, but he couldn't quite explain why it was different or how she made it and so i'm just thinking okay she made him a grilled cheese sandwich he's like so lit up about this memory oh how cute right so we watch gaz oakley a lot avant-garde vegan on youtube for his recipes and so we're sitting there watching uh, not too long ago and he goes that's what it was that's what my grandmother made for me i'm like your grandmother made for you welsh rarebits like how weird is that and he was like well yes and no like that's what she made but like probably they were just using like government cheese or Velveeta or something back in the day right that little story plus the coincidence of watching Gaz make this Welsh rarebit. Now, of course, his was like totally fancy and totally over the top and totally looked amazing. So I was like, all right, well, I'm going to try it. And I made my um, broccoli rob and I turned this whole thing into a sandwich. So we're going to make that together. And I think you guys are really going to like it. If you don't like broccoli rob, which I actually didn't really love, at first because it is a bitter green um, but I do love this and so with his combination of the beer cheese the caramelized onions my broccoli rob concoction on a crusty roll oh my god you guys you're gonna love this so Welsh rare bits um, Gretchen's vegan bakery style so check this out oh but wait before we get into that one ingredient waffles you know what's funny? I'm noticing now that I'm filming myself doing these videos, these like raw in the kitchen cooking videos, of how much food I sniff. Like, what is that with me? I'm like a sniffer. I'm like the Joe Biden of the cooking world, right? Like, I'm just like sniffing everything. I didn't realize I had such a habit of that until I started filming myself in these videos. So, I don't know. I'm a sniffer. Um, but yeah, this is totally fine. I made this like a few days ago. That's why I wanted to smell it and see if it was still good. But actually, this concoction lasts um, over a week in the refridge. And so literally, it's one ingredient and it's red lentils. So if you guys have some red lentils, I've actually made them with green. Doesn't work as good. The red lentils actually work a little bit better. Um, but literally, it is a one ingredient waffle. Eight ounces of water half a cup of red lentils. Let that soak three 
three hours to overnight. Usually I do it at night and then I go to bed and it's ready in the morning. Um, but I put it right in my container of my magic bullet. And then uh, you're just going to whiz that up once it gets all soaked. And then actually that's not completely true. I did, so all right, it's two ingredient, but you don't need this. Um, I do add some cinnamon to it and I add a pinch of baking powder. Okay, so I totally lied. It's three ingredient, but you don't need the cinnamon or the baking powder. I just kind of add it for a little bit of extra help. I've done it without that. Works totally fine. So let that kind of sit overnight. It's going to soak, those beans are going to soak up those that water. Then you're going to whiz this in your magic bullet or in a food processor or a blender or whatever until it is the consistency. Well, you just want to get it really smooth. So I don't know if you can see this. Kind of like pancake batter, I guess. And so if you don't have a waffle maker, you could totally just make pancakes out of this too. And it really works. And so for me, this is something that I eat. Like I can't be heavy carb and eating waffles and pancakes, right? Even though I want to. So this, I sort of trick myself a lot into giving myself the satisfaction of those comfort foods, but it's nothing but beans. So check this out. So, you know, while my waffle iron is heating up, I do want to say thank you to all my newest patrons. Like, it's mind-blowing that I've been getting actually new patrons on Patreon supporting me, as well as so many of you guys who didn't just jump ship a couple months ago when I announced my farewell video that I wouldn't be making any more new content, and I wouldn't blame you all if you just wanted to stop supporting because what really am I doing? And so many of you stayed on, but so many, like, uh, uh, I'd say like at least four or five new people came on to support me since I made that video. So I was like, wow, this is really crazy because um, it's almost like I made that video saying I'm not going to make videos anymore. And so I have more people supporting me on Patreon, almost like saying, uh, yeah, please don't make any more videos. We'll actually pay you to not make any more videos. <laughs> so thank you to all my new patrons. That's really cool of you guys for um, wanting to still support me and keep this thing going. Um, if you didn't watch my farewell video back in December or J no, actually I think I made it in February um, because I shut down the non-vegan blog in December and then I got like that barrage of emails of like hatred and craziness come through for like a month and then I finally made my farewell video in February um, explaining what the whole deal was. So if you didn't see that, definitely go check that one out. But really, thank you so much, um, all the new patrons and of course all my old patrons who are still sticking around supporting me. Yeah, I mean, that's just really cool. So thank you guys so much. I think my waffle iron is getting ready. Yes, I feel it. A little bit of a spray. And then, whoa, that is really hot. Now, it definitely does take longer to cook this than any standard waffle batter would. Um, I don't know, I haven't really timed it. I just kind of know. Um, it's at least five minutes though. So, I mean, let five minutes go by and it's still not gonna be done. And then you'll be able to see it does start to get real crispy on the outside. And the inside, I mean, it is just beans, right? So um, it doesn't get really dry or fluffy like a traditional waffle would. Um, it does stay pretty dense, a little bit heavy, but you know what? I can eat waffles and it's really just beans. So it tricks my brain into thinking that I'm having this super duper comfort meal and I love it. So it really does keep me on track. Let's check out this. Ow, this waffle. Tell you what, this better work. It's worked for me so many times before, but now that I'm filming it, watch, it's gonna be a disaster. Give a little prayer for my waffle gods, right? So what else have you guys been doing? I know for me, now with this, um, all this additional time that I have, I've been flossing my teeth a lot more than I ever had before, so that's a good thing. Hopefully that will be a habit that sticks with me even after this whole nightmare is over. This thing can really steam up a lot if it's not quite ready. Ooh, it's working. 
All right. Ooh. I don't know if you can hear that. I mean, it's definitely crispy. And how I can tell it's done is that basically it stays together in a waffle. Look at that, right? Check that out. One ingredient waffle. It's nothing but red lentils. You don't have to feel guilty about eating like five of these. So I will confess I am a sugar-free syrup person. I try to stay away from a lot of this fake stuff and do really natural, but I don't know. It's kind of like, what's worse? The natural sugar or the processed sugar? And it's probably this is worse, but I don't know. I still do it in minimal amounts for my waffle and my pancakes. I don't do butter on my waffles or pancakes or bread or really anything. I just don't need the added fat. I am going to put my poison syrup on here. <laughs> and there you have it. One ingredient waffle, you guys. You do need to try this. It's really very good. And like I said, if you don't have a waffle maker, you can um, just make them as pancakes. Mm. I'll tell you what, this tastes like a waffle to me. So I, my boyfriend tried it and he was like, oh God, it's terrible. Why do I want to eat beans like that? And I'm like, because it tricks your brain into thinking you're eating waffles, but you're super healthy. All right, you guys, so we are definitely not getting to the Welsh rarebit broccoli rob sandwich portion of this video. We're already at 12 minutes, and this will just go on forever if I don't stop it here. So come back tomorrow, and we will pick up where we left off. But first, back to the waffle. So it's funny, though, you know that name, because once I started looking into the Welsh rarebit, because I always thought it was Welsh rabbit. Like, who else thought it was Welsh rabbit, right? It's rarebit. And so it got me thinking about the way that we name things and the way that we, just the way that we call things. And so I brought up the word Colonel, like Colonel Sanders from KFC, right? The way that word is spelled, it's actually spelled colonel. And so I started digging into the origin of that word. And I was right about it because my boyfriend and I had this whole conversation and I was like, you know, I guarantee that the way that word sort of evolved, because it's spelled colonel, but I think the way that people, their dialects and the way that they would say it, it was sort of like this drawl. Like we say Colonel Sanders, but I think it sort of evolved from colonel to colonel. Like, hey, colonel, like with this southern drawl, right? I think it was like that. And actually, I did look it up, and I'm right. I'm actually right about it. I think I watched a video on YouTube about it. Anyway, I was right. <laughs> mm, hear that crunch? Crispy waffle. You guys, I'm telling you, this is amazing. I just shared, like, this awesome secret. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. We do have a big project ahead of us. This broccoli rob, this Welsh rare bit broccoli rob sandwich that I've got for you. It is kind of a big project because it is um, three separate recipes. We have to caramelize some onions. We have to make the beer cheese sauce and we have to make the broccoli rob concoction, but it's totally worth it. It's so delicious. Mm, that was so good. Mm, 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 mm. Hi, Teddy. You're so cute. All right, guys, so we didn't get to the Broccoli Rob sandwich, but it gives you something to tune back in tomorrow for. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching and for sticking around and just joining me. I mean, it's giving me something to do. I know a lot of you guys said you're starting to go a little bit stir crazy with this quarantine we are still in. So, um, yeah, thanks for your comments. Your, I, I just really love reading them and catching up with you guys. Another especially beautiful thank you to my new patrons and my old patrons and my PayPal pals for sticking around. You guys are really awesome. Um, you know, I still do have the vegan blog up and running, and it does cost me about 55 bucks a month, so your help really does help. And um, you know what, who knows, maybe this whole thing, like my farewell a couple of months ago, um, and then all of a sudden, look, I'm filming more than ever. I mean, it's the vlog style stuff, and I know not everybody really loves that, 
But um, you know what? I did say I'm going to want to film a vegan version of the German chocolate cake soon. So who knows? I mean, this is just really weird the way everything has been going the last few months. And um, I don't know, I'm back to filming. So thanks for being here. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Right, Ted? Big fat Ted, big fat Ted, Teddy, Teddy, Ted. Teddy, 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 Ted, Teddy, Teddy, Ted.